Ashto T11 and ASTM C117 are the standard method of test for materials finer than the 75 micron or number 200 sieve in mineral aggregates by washing. There is a selection of two procedures within this method. Procedure A is washing with plain water and procedure B is washing with a wetting agent. When selecting the procedure, remember that procedure A shall always be used unless otherwise specified or when directed by the agency for which the work is being performed. If procedure B is to be used, remember that a wetting agent can be common dishwashing detergent. And if using procedure B, be sure to use enough wetting agent to produce a small amount of suds. The purpose of the wetting agent is that it loosens the material which is finer than the 75 micron sieve from the coarser material within the sample. The types of materials that respond well to wetting agents include clay coatings as well as coatings on aggregates that have been extracted from bituminous mixtures. However, whether you're using procedure A or procedure B, wet sieving will separate the particles finer than the 75 micron from the coarser particles more effectively than dry sieving. Furthermore, this procedure can be made a continuous process through the use of mechanical equipment. However, care must be taken not to degrade the sample when using mechanical equipment. And when preparing to perform this procedure, remember that the sample size will vary based upon the maximum aggregate size within the sample. The equipment needed to perform this test include a balance conforming to the requirements of M231 Class G2. Of course we're going to need the 200 sieve, but we'll also need protective sieves as well, which include the 8 and 16. When setting up our sieves, we want the coarser of the sieves on top. In this case, the series would be the 8, the 16, and then the 200. Since our sample will be dried at both the beginning and end of this procedure, an oven with a capable range of 110 plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius is required. And lastly, we're going to need a container large enough to hold our sample as well as an ample amount of water. Let's now go through the performance review of Ashto T11 and ASTM C117, materials finer than the number 200 sieve in mineral aggregates by washing. First, we want to dry our sample to a constant mass and then weigh out the appropriate size sample. In this example, we'll be using approximately 300 grams based on our maximum aggregate size. We can now place the sample in the container and cover it with water. We now want to agitate the sample, bringing the fines into suspension. We can now pour the wash water over the nested sieves. Once again, in this example, we have the 8, 16, and 200 sieve. Be sure to avoid the transfer of the larger particles back into the sample during this process. We now want to repeat steps 3 through 6 until the wash water coming out the other side of the sieves is completely clear. Once the water coming out the other side of the sieves is completely clear, we want to wash all of the material that has been retained on the sieves back into a sample pan. Now, dry the washed aggregate in an oven to a constant mass 
and determine the weight of the sample to the nearest 0.1%. We can now calculate the material finer than the number 200 sieve, and we want to report this number to the nearest 0.1%. Unless the amount of material finer than 200 is greater than 10%, at which point we will report to the nearest whole number. And regardless of the percentages, we must report which method was used. Method A, washing with plain water, or method B, using a wetting agent. To calculate the material finer than the number 200 sieve, it is a percentage equation, where A is the percent of material finer than the 200 sieve, B is the original dry mass of the sample in grams, and C is the dry mass of the sample after washing, also in grams. As an example, let's assume that the original dry mass of our sample was 306.4 grams. After the washing procedure and drying the sample, we had 281.8 grams. Now, if we simply plug in our numbers, do the math, we should wind up at 8.1% material finer than the number 200 sieve. Here, we would report our number to the nearest 0.1%, or 8.1% material finer than the number 200 sieve. Had our material contained greater than 10% material finer than the 200 sieve, we'd report to the nearest whole number. Also, we would report that method A was used during the procedure. And here for your review are the deviations between AASHTO T11 and ASTM C117. And this will conclude AASHTO T11 and ASTM C117, standard test method for materials finer than the 75 micron or number 200 sieve in mineral aggregates by washing.